So guys, I want to do a little review on some piercing probes that I have here. Some people had asked me about them, and I said I would do a review. I wanted to try them out first before I did a review. I bought these a couple weeks ago. So these are made by Hantech. The part number is HT307A, and these are a revised probe. They have these removable tips. Let's see if I can these in my hand without stabbing myself. They're pretty sharp. I'll put some of these back in. They come with a bunch of re replacement tips depending on who you buy them from. And I got these because I wanted to try them because I have other ones that I use that are really cheap. And uh, These were actually comparable in price and I figured, hey, I'll try them. The tips look stiffer. See if I can put some of these. Here we go. So let's zoom this in, and I'll show you how this is. Here you go. You can see it screws in. It's threaded. There you go. It's threaded down there, and it's tapered, and it comes up to a point. So you can actually remove these. Show you. So I don't make them super tight, but you can actually remove these. So like you can actually bend these like different angles or whatever you want to do. I haven't tried bending them too much. I don't know how well they hold up to multiple bends, but you could actually probably bend whatever shapes you want into them and then just reuse them. Um, but they're really stiff. And they seem to work pretty nice. They're pretty sharp. So like it just went right into my mat right there. So like I said, you can bend them. We'll bend this one. Let's see. So you can do like a 45 or whatever you want. I don't know how well it'll hold up to fatigue if you keep bending them. But they're slightly larger than other probes. Let me see if I can grab some of the other ones that I use. These are the ones that you get from most places, and they're really flimsy. Like, I can bend this all over, and the needle goes in and out. These are all solid because it's a threaded insert that's in here. And, like, I had some of these where they, the plastic comes off and then the needle comes out, and you don't make a really good connection sometimes. But these seems like another alternative. Like each one has their place because let me show you this again. As you can see, there's a huge difference in the thickness of the needle. Not too much near the end. So you have to be careful if you're forcing this into a connector, you might spread the connector apart. But I really like these. I've been using them quite a bit. So I hope you guys like this video. And like I said, the part number is HT307A. I'll link where I bought them because I bought them off eBay. But hopefully, hopefully you guys will find this interesting. And uh, see you later.